A letter from the US FDA has stoked the public debate over immunobridging. The letter, which was written in response to the Taiwan FDA, said the US was still assessing immunobridging and that it was, quote, not possible to have a position at the current time. United Daily News reported Thursday that the letter was a clear repudiation of Taiwan's regulatory authority, which has approved the use of immunobridging by local COVID vaccine makers. But the central government points out that the U.S. had taken no position at all. Immunobridging is a method of demonstrating the efficacy of a vaccine. It involves comparing the immune response triggered by a local vaccine candidate with the response induced by the AstraZeneca jab. Last week, the FDA authorized immunobridging as a way to demonstrate COVID vaccine efficacy in the absence of phase three trials. It confirmed Thursday that it had sent letters to U.S., EU and Japan regulators asking for their position on immunobridging. The U.S. FDA wrote back, stating that it was still discussing approaches to immunobridging and that an official position was not yet possible. Its letter was leaked to the press this week, fueling controversy over the immunobridging method. The CECC responded on Thursday. What they said, what the U.S. is saying, is that they are still discussing immunobridging and its feasibility, so they don't have an official position on it for the time being. The main issue is that they have not reached a definite conclusion, and so they can't provide a clear position. Generally speaking, people are reading into the U.S. FDA's reply and arriving at different opinions. It doesn't say no to immunobridging. It says that at the present stage, the FDA cannot offer an official position on the matter. Infectious diseases expert Huang Liming says that even if immunobridging were not approved by the U.S. FDA, Taiwanese COVID vaccines would still be able to get international certification elsewhere. This situation will continue changing because as more scientific evidence comes out, these countries might change their minds. In any case, we can still seek out countries that support this method and apply for certification and authorization there. That would still be a form of international recognition. Epidemiologist Wang Renxin says vaccines that haven't cleared phase three trials can be kept on backup for use in an emergency. But he argues that only fully tested vaccines should be chosen for non-emergency use. Both of Taiwan's local vaccine makers are drawing up plans for phase three testing. Sources say Medigen Vaccine Biologics will do a phase three in the Netherlands and seek regulatory approval in the EU. United Biomedical is planning to conduct its phase three trial in India.